Hi everyone, it's Anahita Rao back again uh, with the Planet series. Um, so today we're going to discuss uh, Jupiter. Um, in the Rig Veda, Jupiter is described as the bull of men whom none can deceive. So it is considered to be the greatest benefic of all. Um, Although there is some debate about this amongst astrologers as to whether uh, Venus is the greatest benefic, uh, one reason being because of its power um, to, to bring back to life. Um, uh, so this will depend on also your perspective because a good Venus is, is very essential for uh, material growth and all kinds of pleasure um, on an earthly plane. Uh, whereas uh, Jupiter is essential for uh, spiritual growth, um, uh, though Venus also has a great ability to, to bestow upon um, uh, yeah, spiritual uh, wisdom as well, but the outlook is, is somewhat different. Um, Jupiter is uh, very ritualistic, um, it's also very judgmental uh, and uh, secretive about its knowledge. Uh, as we discussed in the in the Venus uh, portion of this video, um, it's um, uh, unlike uh, Venus, uh, who is a lot more generous and all-encompassing with knowledge and willing to share it uh, with everyone. So um, it depends on on your perspective. Obviously, Jupiter is uh, the guru, and so. Um, Without uh, a guru uh, in our life, we, we cannot actually reach uh, the path uh, uh, to God. Uh, so we need, we need a guru for that. Um, uh, guru essentially means higher knowledge, uh, teachers, philosophers. Um, it can give the person the highest form of spirituality, uh, which is to uh, perceive God in, in every individual. And I think that is what the greatest of gurus uh, teach you is is to uh, remove uh, the idea of uh, separation and isolation from your mind, which is something that we all experience, all experience in, in life. Um, so by removing that and seeing everyone as uh, the same, uh, um, then um, that is uh, essentially the uh, the guru principle being activated. Um, so uh, guru also is is um, in your chart uh, where you will feel immense amount of protection in that house. Uh, you will also experience happiness and prosperity there. Um, the main responsibility of Jupiter is to lead one uh, to the path of, of, of truth, to the path uh, to, to God, as, as we said, um, through higher knowledge. Um, so uh, having a guru in your life becomes, becomes very significant for, for this very reason. Um, um, Jupiter um, on a mundane level um, also represents um, the husband for a woman um, in a birth chart. Um, so if it is in bad dignity or badly aspected, this can cause problems with marriage um, and, and relationships for, for women. Um, uh, Jupiter's day of the week is Thursday. So if you're starting anything new connected to higher studies, then uh, starting um, on Thursdays is going to be very auspicious. Um, Jupiter is the Garaka for um, for, uh, as we discussed, knowledge, uh, wisdom, uh, devotion. But I think that um, Venus also um, signifies devotion. In fact, I, I would say, uh, I would say more so than, than Jupiter. Um, uh, also philosophy, uh, learning, um, wealth can be seen from, is, uh, from, from where Jupiter is placed because after all, uh, it is also a garka for, for wealth and family. Um, a teacher, children, obviously, um, uh, banking, respect, religious, religious uh, uh, perception, uh, family, fortune, uh, husband, um, uh, holy places, pilgrimages, um, donations, uh, charitable efforts, all of that is, is, is seen from, from Jupiter's position in your chart and, and, and how, how it's interacting with other planets. Um, so that's a bit about Jupiter. 
Um, and I hope you found that helpful. If so, please subscribe below. Thank you.